All Sunderland's games have been high on entertainment value and yesterday's enthralling contest at Chelsea maintained the standard. Just six minutes gone and Kerry Dixon rams the Londoners ahead but it was to bring the best out of Sunderland. Nobody seems to be taking to the first division stage more impressively than Marco Gabbiadini. His 37th minute equaliser was another spectacular strike. Dave Besant left helpless by the speed of Marco's reaction and the power of the shot. That's Marco's second brilliant goal of the season and eight goals in eight games in London. But still, it was Chelsea who ended the half on top. Dennis Wise, one of Chelsea's big money buys, created the opening. When the balls played in, a fortunate ricochet gave Clive Wilson the chance to fire Chelsea back into the lead. Once again, Sunderland responded in real style. Peter Davenport releasing substitute Kieran Brady and what poise from the youngster. Sidestepping Besant and keeping cool enough to slide the ball home. Chelsea torn apart. Two all now. But all Sunderland's excellent work was to count for nothing, following a controversial penalty decision after 73 minutes. Gary Bennett and goal scorer Wilson tussle for possession in the box. But the Sunderland skipper comes away with the ball. So referee Michael James pulls up play and points to the penalty spot. The players' arguments were only to be reflected by manager Dennis Smith after the game. But Mr James must have decided Bennett held back Wilson. It seemed a case of six and two threes. Dennis Wise was in exactly the form to complete the punishment. Sunderland win admirers and then sympathy, but ultimately no points.